Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Youth Mentoring Office's first community of practice for 2021. So it's me again, Bazila. <laughs> for those who are new to the session, my name is Bazila and I will be your host for today. So before we start, uh, I'll just highlight to you the functionality of the Zoom platform. Uh, to avoid interference of any background noises, we would appreciate it if you could put yourself on mute uh, unless when speaking so that we can listen to our speakers clearly. Uh, if you have any questions or opinions that you would like to share with us, please do feel free to drop them in the chat box or in the discussions later. And at the same time, we will also greatly appreciate it if you could all have your videos turned on so that we can know that uh, we are speaking to someone behind the screen and we can also kind of match your names with your pretty, pretty faces. Uh, don't worry, I'm very, very friendly. Uh, today's session is the first of, from the monthly community of practice sessions for the year. Uh, to set the tone right for everyone, I'll just provide a brief background on COP and what it is all about. So as many of you would uh, know and have attended from previous sessions, COP is a monthly program by Mendaki's Youth Mentoring Office to provide continued support to train mentors. And this is done by deep diving into common challenges mentors face during their mentoring journey. So each month, the topic of discussion is driven by, by mentors based on the feedback on what you guys are most concerned about. So to welcome a fresh new year of mentoring, today's topic on goal setting in a mentoring relationship fitted right in with a lot of you. And in fact, we actually have many new mentors who are here with us today for the first time. And we have a good spread of mentors from the different MCUBE FH3 programs too. Uh, I see those from mentoring at MTS, empowerment programs, and also from peer. So today's topic on goal setting would be a a great start for our new mentors to begin your relationship with your mentees and also for our seasoned mentors to share useful tips which may have worked for them previously. So in today's session, uh, we've incorporated a workshop for our mentors alongside two breakout room sessions. Uh, as seen from the topic, we will be focusing on the importance of goal setting in a mentoring relationship. Today. So some of you might be wondering what is the link between goal setting and also mentoring? Uh, are these my personal goals or goals that my mentees would want to achieve? So goal setting is actually a very important first step that you will touch on with your mentees at the beginning of a mentoring relationship. And setting goals in a mentoring relationship is important to help mentees focus on their short and long-term experience aspirations. So although both of you, both you and your mentee uh, must play active roles in the goal setting process, the responsibility for facilitating it lies with you as the mentor. The mentor's role is to ensure that the mentee's goals are specific, measurable, action-oriented, realistic, and timely. This is actually the smart approach. And the actual goal setting, on the other hand, should be driven by the mentees themselves. A mentor must empower and also believe in the capabilities of your mentees. So from the workshop today, you will learn the types of goals that can be set and how you can monitor and motivate your mentees to achieve them. Uh, Mursalina and also Anwar from Future Ready Asia, who we have here with us today, she's waving there, <laughs> will be uh, sharing the smart approach to setting goals in the workshop. And as part of the goal setting workshop, we've also invited two experienced mentors with us uh, who will share their experiences on how they've set goals with their mentees and what are some of the challenges which they have faced in doing so alongside tips to overcome them. So from Majula community, we have Shafi Irazi, Ali, who has close to 10 years of mentoring experience. And alongside Shafi'i, we have Sabrina Adam from Empowerment Programs at ITE, who has many valuable experiences to share in setting goals with different youth age groups. So we will be breaking you into two separate rooms for a more intimate sharing later. And today we also have Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth and Ministry of Social and Family Development, Parliamentary Secretary Eric Chua with us. Uh, for many of you who may not already know, Paulsek Eric is a big advocate for mentoring and he has also joined us in our previous COP session as well. So uh, for now, I'll pass on the spotlight to my colleague Johan who will actually share with us more. Hi everyone. Um, can you hear me? Thumbs up? I, 
Can you guys hear me? Okay, awesome. Uh, so good afternoon, everybody, uh, and hi, Palsec. Uh, nice to see everybody here today. Uh, so this essentially is like what Basila mentioned. Yes, uh, she essentially has taken the words out of my mouth. So I don't have much to say now. And yes, Basila is very friendly. And uh, if you play, if you pay close attention, she actually has the whitest teeth that you would ever see in, in anybody. Yeah, but welcome everybody. So just uh, to touch a little bit on what uh, Basila mentioned, uh, goal setting really is a fundamental aspect of our everyday lives. And the topic today is deliberate. I mean, it is the start of the year-ish. Uh, and you know, when come the start of the year, that's where resolutions come in and goal setting comes in. Uh, whether you recycle last year's resolutions into this year or not, it's still it's part of the goal setting process. Uh, and here today, we're talking about the goals that you will help set when you are in a mentoring relationship. But I think it's also important for you to note that there are many layers to goal setting. First is what are the goals that you want to achieve personally in that mentoring relationship? Second also is about what are the goals that your mentees want to achieve themselves? And then third, it's about the shared goals that both of you want to achieve. So it's important that, that you see this from all angles and not just your own personal perspective. And beyond these, it's also about breaking them into um, bite-sized pieces. For example, what are the goals that you want to achieve in the short term, the medium term, the long term? So one example could be you know, a goal that you want to achieve for yourself uh, uh, in the mentor relationship. It could be uh, in the short term, it's about knowing and understanding your mentee, knowing your mentee's interests, strengths, what 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 uh, ticks them, what thrills them, that could be something in the short term. In the medium term, it could be about building trust and understanding. Um, and because we know that takes uh, a while. And then perhaps in the long term, it's really about how your mentee is, is able to uh, remain motivated or, or increase the motivation to do a lot better in school. So that could be something that, that perhaps you could look at. And similarly, the, the session today is structured along the same lines, which means uh, the sequence here, the first step is really about you understanding or refreshing the concepts of goal setting. And then secondly, it's about listening and sharing your own practices of goal setting in mentoring. And third, beyond this session itself, it's about applying whatever that you've learned to your uh, mentees. So I really hope that, that all of you will learn as much as possible from this session. And like what Basila mentioned, you know, take this opportunity also to tell us uh, and hit that chat function and tell us what is it that you want to know more of for, uh, in future sessions. Um, and like what I always tell everybody at every session uh, that I'm uh, here uh, is loosen up really treat this like a Saturday afternoon get together. Uh, let's not be too uh, formal, you know. Uh, so uh, loosen up, see it, see it like a, a, a chat uh, with, with, with friends and, and, and let it flow. And before I hand control back to, to, to Basila and our speakers, uh, again, I, I like to, to say hi to, to Paul Sek. Uh, Paul Sek is a big uh, advocate for mentor. He's, He's a seasoned mentor himself. Uh, he understands the ins and outs of mentoring. Uh, and he's here like everyone else to, to listen and learn uh, about what we do uh, in our mentoring relationships. Uh, Paul Sek, do you, I know this is a bit impromptu. Do you wanna uh, say anything to the mentors here today? Yes, I thought I just want to jump in and uh, say thank you very much to all of you for in advance for your sharing. I, I am a mentor myself, but I wouldn't say I'm seasoned or experienced. I, I, like you uh, mentioned, Johan, I think I'm here today to learn from all of us, uh, from our experiences, exchange notes, and I think we can grow in our journey as uh, mentors together. And uh, yeah, just also want to thank organizers for allowing me to get crash not once the last time round, uh, but twice. So today being the second time, and I'm very happy to be uh, here with all of you. And hopefully we can also have a, a conversation. I hope this, uh, like what Johan say, can be a, a, a good, relaxing, you know, uh, late part Saturday afternoon kind of thing. So I hope me being here doesn't change that dynamic. And uh, I hope I can uh, also uh, chime in or be part of the conversation if, if, if there's a, a room for me to do so. So with that, I thank, uh, thank everyone actually for, for allowing me to be here. Thanks very much. All right, thanks, Paul. Bazila, back to you, please. Thanks. 
All right. Thank you, Paul Sayeri, and also Johan for the very, very short sharing. Uh, now I'm sure many of you would have been looking forward to the workshop for today's session. So without further ado, let's start the goal setting workshop with Mursa, Lina and Anwar from Future Ready Asia. Lina and Anwar, the light is yours. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, if we are all good, okay, before we can kick, uh, get going, can everyone just give me a wave, a good wave to the screen, please? So I can see your energy and your all right. So everyone are still waving. Uh, some of you still have your camera turned off. All right, so we will appreciate like what Bazila mentioned earlier on. Let's all turn on our video. It's a Saturday afternoon, so we, we want everyone over here to, to talk to one another, to communicate with each other, even though we're not together on site, but we can actually get the energy with one another through our videos. Okay, yes, as mentioned earlier on by Bazila, okay, myself and Anwar will be sharing uh, regarding goal setting. All right, regarding goal setting. So what's going to happen right now? I'm going to share my screen. Okay, give me a moment. Huh? I'm going to share my screen. And all we have to do is to see whether you can see my screen. Okay, let me go. All right, if you can see my screen, can all of you give me a virtual thumbs up, please? Virtual thumbs up. Okay, very nice. Okay, good. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, all right, once again, good morning and good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. Oops, so sorry. Okay, good afternoon and welcome to our session today. Again, the session is pretty short, but at, uh, at any point of time, if you have any questions or I'm going any faster, okay, you can just let either myself or Anwar know accordingly in the chat box. Okay, so go setting on today's date and also it's by us, Future Ready. Okay, okay so by the end of this session, all right, what's going to happen is we will understand Technically, we have three frameworks that we'll be going through. All right, three frameworks. The first framework will be SMART. Maybe some of you might be familiar with this. And also, I'm going to add on additional framework called the WISE framework. Okay, and last but not least, okay, when we are communicating with our men uh, mentees especially, uh, do we have a certain uh, questioning techniques? So, this is something that we will also want to share. How do you question? How do you structure your questions when it comes to talking to your your mentee, uh, your uh, mentee themselves. All right. So before we begin, all right, we don't want to be rude. We are going to introduce ourselves. So I'm going to start with myself first. Okay. So let's just give a give a check. Uh, uh, with, uh, how are you guys feeling today? All right. So according to the weather here, all right, can you just annotate, all right, and circle, all right, how are you currently feeling? So we can get a rough idea about the mentors here in the, uh, in the chat group. Come circle and, and annotate accordingly. All right. Some of you are starting to draw already. Oh, rainbow. Okay. A lot of you are feeling rainbow on a Saturday. Okay. So bright sun. Okay. Some of you are still feeling moon. Huh? I wonder why is the crescent? Is that sleepy? I think it's from Shafi. Yeah. He <laughs> and also he already saw the shine. Huh? You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come, let's see. How are you guys feeling? Interesting. So some of you are still uh behind the clouds, are uh, still waking up, uh. Okay, very, very hot. Okay, can a uh, few more. Okay, I want to see a few more uh annotation on the screen itself. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so over here we get a rough idea how are we feeling on a Saturday afternoon. All right, so a uh, reason why I get this so at least. I can tweak my energy accordingly to how are you all feeling. Maybe I will pull all of you guys to feeling the rainbow feeling. Huh? So at least my energy can be traveled to all of you here from the different screens. Okay, thank you so much for sharing how you're feeling right now. Okay, let me just clear whatever that is on the screen. Okay, clear all drawings. Okay, Ken, thank you so much. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, move on. Okay. Let me give me a moment. Okay. So, there are two trainers with, with us today, okay, which is myself, Lina, and also I have my colleague here, Anwar. So, I'll begin with myself. Okay. So, currently, okay, I, I graduated, all right, from Diploma in Outdoor and Adventure Learning, okay, a few years ago. And, all right, I am currently working a full-time job in Future Ready Asia. All right. So, this is my team, all right, my team here. And uh, one thing 
that I like the most to do, uh, what I like to do is, all right, I love adventure. Okay, the reason why, again, I love adventure because it get me going and it allows me to achieve more than I have right now. So, at every single step, okay, it it wants, uh, it make me go further and further. All right, so it doesn't stop there. All right, so I'm always continuously finding for other new things to do. All right, and also, um, even though during COVID we cannot go overseas, I also find new ways to find uh adventurous uh things to do here in Singapore. So this is one of it, uh, muscling tunnels in Woodlands. All right, and last but not least, currently this is my favorite thing to do. I love talking to people, and no matter who is uh who I'm talking with, again I love hosting. All right, this is something that I've been working on for so long. All right, so ever since I entered my job here and until now, okay, my goal at the end of the day to always continuously work on my public speaking skills, especially to different kind of people from as young as kids and as old as corporate and adults also. So different age group again. Okay, requires me to, to talk differently especially all right so yep this is me for my recent hosting event if I, all of you should know who is she uh, she's our also our another mp uh, uh soon shelling all right so yep this is me okay now let's uh, go on to anwar anwar share a bit more about yourself anwar all right, a very short uh, introduction about myself. Uh, I'm uh, Lina's colleague. Uh, we've been doing a lot of the programs and all that. Uh, same here, uh, I'm doing a lot of mentoring because our job actually deals with a lot of youth. Actually, uh, we do it locally and overseas as well. As you can see that uh, the activities uh, I brought before the COVID, I've been bringing a lot of uh, participants out to overseas. And uh, if you see on the right side, uh, there's a group of Odom Daki students uh, that I've brought to some humanitarian works as well in Vietnam. And uh, hopefully this will be uh, continuous in the near future as well. We are all praying for that, yeah. So I'm here today to assist Lina to see whether if you guys need any tips or I also can learn some tips for you guys. Looks like most of you looks very professional and also experienced as well. So we can actually lepa and also share all those uh, notes as well, yeah. All right, back to you, Lina. Okay, so sorry, I muted. All right, thank you so much, Anwar, for sharing. Okay, the reason why we began with okay, sharing a little bit more of ourselves is because of this. All right, building your degree of candor. Throughout your entire journey as a mentor, all right, when you're working with your mentee especially, what is important? All of us know that the most important thing is our relationship with our mentees. So when you build your degree of candor, candor, right? If you find it in the dictionary, it means how honest are you, how open are you towards sharing things about yourself. So as a mentor, first thing first, in order for you to 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 get your men mentees talking, being open about themselves, to start sharing about their personal goals, this is what you have to share. Your own goals, your own uh, past personal life, a little bit about your past, a little bit about what you want to do in your future, that is where you can create a comfortable space and a safe space between yourself and also a mentee. So, how 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 huge your degree or how small your degree is entirely up to you. So, Currently, right now, okay, what I've shared is a little bit more about a personal story about myself. I begin to share a little bit more about my diploma, where I come from, and also I shared about what are my goals when I am in this current career right now, which is I want to continuously work on my soft skills. Right? So the more you share, right, the more you share, the deeper the learning. So as mentors, let's start opening up to our mentees especially, right, to ensure that they can, oh, okay, this is what my mentor is facing. I should slowly open up to myself, all right, open myself up to my mentors. That is where they begin to share a little bit more private about themselves, maybe their past, their future, or whatsoever, all right? So when you, when you're, if you realize that uh, your relationship with your mentee is a bit more public, they will, step, they will share very very uh, basic stories about themselves. That is where we have to continuously work on the relationship. So, before we move on, just remember, the more you share, the deeper the learning about the particular person. So, let's start this relationship where you keep sharing more about yourself, more personal, and there you go, you can learn more about each other. Alright, so let's not waste any more time. Alright, we are going to go in to goal setting, which is the smart, wise, and also grow. Right, these are the few acronyms that you will have at your fingertips at the end of this session. Okay, so 
pretty sure all of you are familiar with seven habits, but one habit that we should have when it comes to uh, setting a goal, which is begin with the end in mind. All right, begin with the end in mind. All right, knowing your purpose and what you're trying to achieve. All right, that's very important. Why we should set a goal because you will finally identify what's your purpose and what you are trying to achieve. All right, and also eventually you will develop a clearer picture of where you want to go in life. All right, be it short term goals or long term goals. All right, when you begin with the end in mind, it will help you to paint a picture of where you want to go next. It can be a very simple picture. It's okay. It can be a very complicated picture. It's also fine. All right. So, setting goals. Two things. Right. First thing first. Your goal must be specific. Right. Your goal must be measurable. Your goal must have an action towards it. Behind it, what are the actions that you want to take? And it must be realistic. And last but not least, you must have a time behind it. All right? It must be a smart goal. Besides it being a smart goal, your goal must also be wise. You must have the, you must have the willpower to do it. The initiative, you are the one doing it. You must have the stamina, your energy. And last but not least, your enthusiasm. So it will get tiring along the journey. But... You have what it takes to move forward. So now I'm going to share with you the different meaning of each acronym. So how can we apply it? How can we eventually create a SMART goal and is also wise behind it? Right? So remember, SMART and wise. This is what, uh, this is the goal that we should have towards. Sometimes at the end of the day, we say, ah, I want to lose weight. So is that SMART? Or is that wise or we don't know at all? All right, so now I'm just going to do a little check-in all right, with you guys over here. Okay, so what's, what's going to happen is I'm going, I'm going to show a little bit of like a, a sentence, a sentencing. So you just unmute yourself and tell me what is it. All right, because it's a, a little recap. Some of you might already be familiar with smart and wise from your own understanding. What do you understand? All right, before we move on, remember this uh, quote here from Jack Welch. Control your own destiny or someone else will, right? You have the control, all right, towards your own goal. If not, somebody will just come over and just take over you, all right? So as many sometimes we, we find it, oh, why must I create a five-year long-term goal? All right, because we don't, some of us is over here, we cannot see the importance of it. Because at the end of the day, if you don't see the importance of it, okay, there will be somebody that will enter your life and will control your destiny, okay? So let's say you need to have a way of knowing why you have reached your goal. Give yourself a timeline, a percentage, or a number. S M A R T N W I S E. Anyone? What do you think it is? Anybody can unmute yourself? T. Hi. Okay, did somebody say T? All right, okay, it's actually measurable. All right, even though the keyword here say a timeline or a percentage of a number, right, it, it drives towards uh, time. But actually, towards when you're setting a goal, for example, all right, let's say I want to lose weight. But how do you know you're losing your weight every single time? Okay, every time, every day, there's a percentage or there's a rough gauge, okay? This week, I've lost 0 0.5 kilograms. The next following week, my aim is to lose 0 0.5 kilogram. So that is your percentage or a number, something that you can measure your goal with. So linking back to school, maybe, all right, um, I want to pass my math at the end of uh, 2021. Right, so how do you measure by? Okay, each and every day when you take your mock test, right, there's an improvement from uh, instead of passing it, uh, instead of passing at 50, 50 marks the next day, the next following mock test, you pass it at 55. Then move on, it goes higher, higher and higher. So there's a percentage, there's a number that you can measure by. So knowing that you are one step closer. So this is measurable. Not time because time is different. The meaning is some of us here tend to get confused between how, how do you measure by and time. Time is your deadline of your goal. Alright, so next, in order to reach a goal, the goal must be detailed. Stay away from vague and confusing goals. So over here, the clue is from vague and confusing goals. 
Anybody specific. can. Specific. Correct. Specific. All right. So it must be specific. All right. Again, I link back to losing weight because it's very it's, it's easier to to link all the S M A R T specific. I want to lose weight. So how much weight do you want to lose by when? Okay. Let's say uh, currently I am fifty five kilogram. I want to lose weight to forty seven kilogram. Then that is you being specific. All right. You have to be specific in terms of your goal. All right. For students, sometimes you say, ah, I just want to pass my exam. Okay, so you want to pass your exam. So how do you ensure that it is specific? Okay, I want to pass my exam with a GPA of so on and so forth. All right, with my subjects being math is this, Malay is this, so on and so forth. All right, so this is you creating your goal that is specific. So we must stay away from it being vague and confusing. Do you have what it takes? Will you stick with it even if it gets hard? Willpower. Correct. Willpower. All right. Do you have what it takes? All right. Will you continue on when the challenge hits or something hits the fan? <sighs> is that is that it? All right. Are you just gonna give up after a long way? Do you have the willpower to continue no matter how hard it gets? Is your goal doable? Remember that it is better to have small steps than and be successful. Realistic. All right, realistic. As simple as it is, is it realistic enough? I want to save five thousand dollars by the end of this month, but your allowance every day is not allowing you. That is you not being realistic. It's all about perseverance. Hanging there, just take it one step at a time. Anybody? It's all about perseverance. Stamina. Okay, correct. Stamina. On point, ah. Huh? Okay, stamina. So you also have the. You must need the energy because goal. At the end of the day, it might seem very, very tiring to achieve it because along the way, there's a lot of challenges. Sometimes you face some burnout, or some other time you also face like, is there a need to even achieve my goal? So your stamina is very important. Okay, I'm just gonna run through this. Okay, the goal should state the time. Okay, as per the keyword T, right? Be there. Do it. Don't wait for someone else to do the work for you. So you must have the initiative to complete your goal. Yes, we have our mentor to help us. By the end of the day, we are the one controlling whether we want to achieve our goal. So as mentors, we are supposed to be there with our mentees throughout the entire journey. All right, holding their hands, but at the same time. Okay, we must give out okay the energy that we have as mentors. Okay, our very very strong energy. Once you pass your energy to your like like a bit of tai chi, I want you pass to, must pass to them right. Eventually, they also can create their self initiative, right? To eventually also achieve our goal. Okay, what will you do to reach your goal? Okay, what are the different action that you want to take every single day? What are the small steps that you want to climb in order to achieve your goal? All right, and last but not least, enthusiasm. All right. Motivation, energy, and the support of others is very important. Your families, your friends. So this is your goals. When it comes to uh, uh, achieving your goals, it must be smart and it also must be wise. It comes together eventually. It can be aligned with one another. All right. Okay. So here comes to you. All right. When you are talking to your mentor. All right. Sorry. When you are talking to your mentees. All right. What are the different kinds of question for them? Uh, that you can ask them, and eventually they can actually see, all right, their goals, and they can also articulate their goals according to smart and wise, all right. So these are the questioning techniques that I will be sharing. Okay, it's a little bit like coaching, all right, coaching your your mentees, all right. But at the same time, okay, this will help you, all right. If you want to take down notes, you want to take a photo of the slides. Go ahead. At the end of the day, I will also be sharing the slides to to you, all of you here. Alright, so questioning techniques for you to ask your mentees. Some of us here, alright, some of the mentees here might be, uh, might might have difficulties articulating their goal. So these are the questions that you can ask, right? Starting with G R O W, grow. Alright, so I've shared earlier on, uh, smart and wise. Now I'm going to go forward towards grow. Alright, the first G, go. Right, how do you ensure that your goal is specific and There's a uh, specific first, ah, uh, alright. So you can ask them what we aim for. 
What do you want? How do you know you achieve your goal? When do you want to achieve it by? How will you achieve? How will achieving it benefit you? And how will achieving it benefit others? Right, so I'm going to be talking to Anwar a little bit of role play, so at least all of you can understand what's happening. Okay, so yes, I understand that I might not have enough, uh, sufficient time, but I'm trying. I will try my best. All right, to ensure that okay, this uh, this how do you can apply, uh, grow, when you are talking to your mentees. Okay, so I'm going to start out. Uh, okay, um, Anwar, all right, can I know? All right, what is your goal? Lina, yeah, I, I just heard that about losing weight. Lah. So okay. actually, uh, I've been trying to lose weight. But I don't know, man. Can you help me? I feel a bit heavy and heavier every year. Leh. Heavy every year. Okay, now I want to ask you, what is your goal? I want to lose weight. Lah. You want to lose weight. Can mm. you tell me more about losing weight? Actually, yeah, more to, I think uh, if I get more heavier, I think my health also is affected. Okay. Mm. So, what do you want? Mm, maybe I lose weight, then I can become healthier, maybe. I feel lighter. Okay, <laughs> so, you, you want to be healthy. I understand you. From, I understand from what you said, you want to be healthy. Is that correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ken. Okay, can you tell me how much weight do you want to lose? Mm, right now, uh, I'm about 100. Maybe 100? Uh, 80 will be a nice number. Okay, how do you know you will achieve the 80 kilogram? Probably will be the light, the weighing machine. Uh. <laughs> the weighing machine, all right? Yeah. So what are the different steps that you can take in order for you to achieve your 80 kilograms? Um, diet. Diet, okay. Can, interesting. All right, tell me more about diet. What do you mean diet? Maybe eat less. Lah. So diet means eat less, right? Okay, diet, eating less. Do you eat a lot every time? Oh, yes, of course. I love food. Okay, can interesting. So I know a little bit more about yourself. So when do you want to achieve your uh goal by? Oh, graduation is coming. So probably uh mid of this year. Mid of this year. Can you tell me when? Uh June. June, June? is graduating year. Sorry? What date? Date. A specific uh? date, yes. Okay. Uh, I think I'll give myself one week before the graduation. I should be look good, lah, you know, and looks Lighter okay. for the graduation. One week before graduation. When is your graduation? Uh, 26th of June. Okay, 26th of June. So, if you say one week, it means around 15th June. Is that correct? Yeah. I okay, think Ken. Be, yeah. Alright, can you grab a paper and a pen? I want you to write this down. Alright. Okay. You want to achieve. Okay. What do you want to achieve? I'll write down. I want to lose. I want to lose. 80 kg. I mean, I want to lose 20 kg, I guess. Okay. Okay. By? By the date would be 15 June. 2000? 2021, of course. Okay, interesting. So, can, if I ask you again, what is your goal? What's my goal? Yeah. To lose weight. Okay. What is your goal? Oh, to be healthy? No, what is your goal? You just written down your goal. Oh, what is to lose 20 kg? Okay, bye. 15 June 20th, uh, two, 2021. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so this is the first step, all right, between me and Anwar. What we have done is to get the mentee, all right, I'm the mentor here and he's the mentee, to write down to articulate their goal. You see, the first time, even though he written down their goal, he's not able to articulate their goal yet. Means It means that you have to further investigate what is the next step you should do as a mentor. From here, it means that he's still not confident that his goal is to lose weight of 20 kg. So you need to continuously artic uh, telling him to articulate his goal. The more he articulates, the more he understands that he has to achieve this specific goal by this specific date. Right, so after G, all right, certain questions you can skip. All right, and not every question that you have to use it. So this is just like a helping tool for you. Next is whether is it real or not. So reality check. So exploring the present, uh, the present reality. What have you done specifically to achieve your goal? Is there any challenges that you have met or you have to overcome? What is the biggest challenge that you will to you will have to overcome? And what strength do you have? Do you have which may help and why you decide to address this now. 
So after, okay, you ask these um, questions, all right, the first G to your mentees, the next one is to explore their reality. What is the situation that they are currently facing right now? Are they facing a certain um, challenges in their life? A problem with their friends, family or teachers? Is that why they are stopping them to move forward or towards achieving their goal? Because we want to build our degree of candor with, a, with our mentee as well. So this is why we need to explore the reality, the current situation that he or she might be facing right now that you can sense a little bit of not so, so much of confidence when it comes to articulating their goals. So this is reality. Okay, so next, we go for option. Okay, stretching beyond what the mentee has tried or thought about before. So after you ask all these specific questions already, then you dig out, all right, certain things that might be useful for the, uh, for the, for yourself and also for the mentees. That is where, all right, that is where you can also eventually ask different things that they have done, right? Different things that they have done. All right, and last but not least, what is the commitment that they want to take, all right, towards taking action? So from here. All right, you can see all the G, R, O, N, W. All right, you can eventually link back to S, M, A, R, T. For them to create a SMART goal, you as a mentor, you can use these uh, tools, all right, to help you. It can be useful for you, all right, to help you to communicate with your mentee for them to articulate their goals. All right, so let me just uh, rewind a few, a few slides back, which is reality. So, what have you done specifically to achieve your goal, Anwar? Nina, I let me think. I, I think I've not done it except for less looking at the diet part, I guess. Yeah. So you you haven't really done anything uh, to 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 do to, to work towards your goal, is that correct? Yes, I think I've been concentrating on diet and it seems like it's not working. Okay, so diet. Can you tell me what are you doing when it comes to diet? Mm, the problem is actually I keep on eat. The thing is that I, I try not to eat, but then for a, after a few days, I start eating back again. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you went back to your old habits. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Okay, so maybe uh, is there any actions that you want to take for you to, to continuously eat properly for you not to go back to your old habit? Mm, well, maybe what I can do is not to do it so drastically. I think I think the more I stuff myself, the more I get uh hungry after like minimum two days. Yeah. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. All right. So now what I need you to do is to write down how much do you want to eat per day? You want to eat three meals per day, four meals per day. It's up to you. All right. So I want you to write it down. How what is the number of times of meals do you want to have per day? Ah, okay. Okay, again. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Anwar. All right. So this is an example. All right. So as as you can see, here are the different keywords that I use. All right, to communicate with my uh mentee per se. So things like I say, I ask, I use statements like "Tell me more," right? "Tell me more." Instead of every time when he or she said something, all right. When you ask naturally. Us as human beings, we will ask why. When you ask why, right, we have might create a pre-assumption or pre-judgment between your your relationship your relationship between a mentor and a mentee. So that is why I always use the word "tell me more." When you say "tell me more," that is where you are able to dig out more information between you and your mentee. Okay, at the same time, all right, at the same time, words like "I hear you," "I understand." Okay, that is where you can also ensure that you are uh, carefully listening to what he or she said. Right, so this is where you see we are also eventually, if you realize what is happening between myself and Anwar, right, he is the one who wants to take that specific action. So you are done with S, you are done with A. Right, his action is to not go drastically but to eat meal by meal. 
But we have to dig in even deeper. Right? Dig in even deeper. So how do you dig in even deeper? You ask a different kind of question. Right? You explore what is currently facing. So for example, what challenges have you met? All right? Or you have to overcome. Okay, maybe for him. Okay, the challenges that he faced is um, uh, there's too much distraction. Right? My friends always bring me out to eat. Things like that. All right, so when he get to articulate what he 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 is facing, eventually you are able to give a check. All right, to S M A R and eventually T. T is the easiest to achieve, but whether you want to achieve it by a specific kind of uh, by that date, that is the control that the other Matty have to take. So G R O W at the end of the day is helping you to to ask questions okay this is a questioning techniques for you and your mentee to sit down and ask okay yes over here i see that in the in the chat box all right um it might it might be not natural all right at the end of the day find all mentors have their own way of talking to their mentees it's your own method all right you don't have to be like a real coaching session where you have a sofa and a sofa all right Okay, a counseling session. At the end of the day, you will eventually find your own method, all right, to communicate with your mentee. It can be over a coffee or over a game after a finish a game of FIFA, all right. The imp most importantly is the relationship you have built with your mentee. Eventually, as a mentor and a mentee relationship, every single day when you meet them counts. What you talk to them, what you share with them, it is important. That is where eventually they are able to open up to you and create a specific goal that you want them to create. Be it for their education or be it for their life for the next few months, all right, in their student life, right? What do they, do they want? Or the next few months after they graduate, what do, do, do they want to achieve? So, smart, all right, smart before I end, huh? S M A R T. Being specific, all right, uh, measurable. What can it be measured by? Is there a timeline? Is there a percentage that you are 50% closer to your goal? All right. A, what is the action that you want to take? What is the small stepping stone every time you climb up the stairs? What are the different actions? R, is it realistic? Time, what is, what is the date? All right, the date, the year, the month. Be as specific as possible that you want to achieve your goal. Okay, wise, willpower, initiative, stamina, and enthusiasm. And last but not least, G-R-O-W. Right, if I go back to the slide, what is the goal? What do you want to aim for? What is the current reality that, that the, uh, the mentee is facing right now? Okay, what are the different options? All right, stretching beyond what the mentee has tried to thought before. What is the different option that the mentee can explore? What else can you do? All right, and what is the will or way forward towards achieving your? Once you already create the smart goal, what's next? What are you going to do? What's the first step that you're going to take? All right, what is the first and the fastest step that you can take to give yourself ten percent? closer to your goal all right so this is smart wise and grow all right so before we end this session all right before Anwar and i end this session is there any questions from the ground okay if um you can type down the questions or if you want me to rewind the slides you also let me know all right uh Anu and I will be more than happy to assist any of your questions, any of your inquiries. So, yep. Okay. Okay, so if there's no questions, it's fine. Maybe I'll just give a, a little few more takeaways. All right. Remember that most importantly, all right, the more you share, the deeper the learning. All right. Your relationship, eventually, they will create. Okay, from there, you are able to get, all right, your own style, all right, of mentor and mentee. And that is where you can explicit different kind of responses for the mentees when it comes to create your goal. So remember smart and wise. From there, if you're having a little bit of challenge, all right, 
uh, to get some responses from your mentor, mentee, sorry, from your mentees, that is where you begin to use G R O W. You don't have to use it uh, word for word. All right. Find your own style, all right, of questioning your mentees. Right, find your own style of questioning your mentees. That is where you're comfortable to talk to your mentees. Okay. If Hi Lina, uh yes. maybe you wanna uh, I'll share the Mentimeter screen uh, okay. about the goals that the mentors have shared earlier. Okay, yeah. you're sharing, is it correct? Yes. All right. Maybe uh, because since we have more time left, so mm, maybe can, you can, can touch on that. Yes. Hmm. So while Bazila is sharing, maybe uh, Lina, you can take the question by Firdaus whether uh, this goal setting will be done when uh, during the first meeting or gradually. Okay. Yes. Um, it should be gradually because when you first meet them, I'm pretty sure if if you ask them what is your goal, it will be a very, uh. Like a terkejut thing, like a very surprising thing. All right, so it must be gradually. All right, eventually you can ask G R O W day by day. All right, all the different type of questions, or you can even mix the G R O W together. From there, all right, maybe you yourself as a mentor, you also have to set your own goal by when you want to hear your mentee's goal. Alright, by when do you want to hear your mentees go? Maybe the first week you meet them, by the fifth week you want to hear something from them. So between week one to week five is you talking to them, making sure they are, they are, are exploring the current reality that they're facing. And then by when, by the fifth one, they are able to articulate their goal. So the week five onwards is for them to take action. Alright. Yeah, Lina, I also saw mm. some of the chat that uh, people are sharing as well. Uh, basically, I think importantly, working with people, I guess, is that they must be comfortable with you. All right. Uh, if they are comfortable, that's where uh, they will start sharing. If not, if you just ask them directly, they will be shy enough not to be able to share as much. So I guess you guys will take your time. Uh, and the trust must be built down there. Once you have that, it will be a smooth feeling where it's easier for you to actually spend more time with them and understand what is their really wants and needs as well, yeah? Okay, thank you so much, Anwar. Over here, say, somebody said, maybe any tips on how to make it more chill? Yep, like what Anwar mentioned, relationship is very important. Okay, first time when you meet your mentee, it might be get, it, it will get awkward for sure. But then eventually, day by day, when you're comfortable with him or when you're comfortable with her, all right, that is where you can get all right, more personal stories from her. That is where you have the importance of building candor with your mentee. So, for example, myself and Anwar, the first time we met, we only share public things about ourselves. But eventually, because we keep spending time with one another, we are able to share what's our future goals. Right, like for example, for Anwar, his, this is his real goal like, to really lose weight. Correct, Anwar? Yes, all right, to really lose weight. All right, so from there, I asked him, uh, this goal means so much to him compared to other people, right? Because it, it resonates him, right? It's about health, it's about his condition, uh, it's about how he can move forward in his life because he loves adventure. But then something is stopping him. So his goal is to lose weight. So it's okay, all right? Importantly, it's the relationship build because every student or every mentee is different on their own way. But one thing for sure that I want to share is, um, remember, every session you must check out. All right? So you won't be exhausted by the time you meet him or her the next day. Check out. All right? Chill for a while, then come back in. You check in back again with your mentee. That is where slowly you can explicit the different SMART and also your G-R-O-W will come naturally as a person. Okay, let me see what's on the mentee meter. Okay, uh, most of us here make sure that to help them attain their goal, all right, uh, writing down smart goals, all right, all this. Okay, yes, correct. But most common thing that we, say, we, that we wrote over here, okay, all of us wrote here is the importance of right, building a relationship. Okay, smart goal. It can be as smart as you want, all right? But sometimes at the end of the session, they may just like forget about it because some mentees, all right, can be patronizing to you. 
All right? They they will just say, they will just share. All right, for the sake of sharing, because that is what you want to hear as a mentor. So it's important for to not force them. All right, to create a smart goal, importantly, relationship. All right, it can be the most smartest goal. Wow. Okay, I think my mentee is doing good, but unknowingly. He or she might be patronizing you, which we don't want as a mentor. We want them to sincerely share what is their goal. So take your time, all right. Do it grad grad gradually, right? By weekly, if you tend to meet them weekly or monthly, it's okay. Do it. Check in with them via WhatsApp. Okay, call them. All right, go out for a food sale. Then eventually you can, ah, all right, grab all that very uh good opportunity for them to come out with a smart goal. Okay, thank you. Thank you uh, to Mursalina and also to Anna for the very insightful workshop. Uh, so um, just to round things up, uh, the key to setting goals as shared uh, with your mentees is to first understand your mentees, their talents and also their aspirations by building your degree of candor. And the more private your sharing and discussions are, the deeper the learning is between yourself and your mentee. And while you slowly understand what your mentee's aspirations are, your mentees will also be able to understand themselves better as they think and articulate what they aspire to achieve to someone else. So this is where your role comes in as a facilitator to guide your mentees on the types of goals that they want to set and also the things that they can do to work towards those goals. And as shared by Mursalina and also Anwa, the SMART framework, WISE and GROW are some of the very useful tools that you can utilize to guide your mentees in setting their goals and also working towards them. So we hope that this would be very useful for your mentoring relationship. Um, right now, I think I think let's all take a short breather <laughs> for about maybe five minutes and we can come back about 2.05. Is that okay for everyone? After that, uh, we will actually be breaking out into our breakout sessions with the experienced mentors. Yes. So I'll see you guys back here at 2.05. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I hope everyone had a very quick uh, short break for a drink or, or a little nibble. I know it's lunchtime right now, <laughs> but please uh, uh, bear with us. Um, okay, so uh, we have now come to the breakout session for today's COP. Uh, the breakout session will be approximately 30 to 35 minutes long. And after the first 35 minutes, we will actually do a rotation of the speakers for another 35 minutes. But don't worry, we have our friendly moderators in each breakout room who will be facilitating the sharing and also our future ready trainers. Um, the moderators are Murshida and also Howard. So as the sharing sessions are made, uh, intimate, please do engage in conversations freely with our two experienced mentors as they share their mentoring experiences. And we also hope that our mentors are able to learn as much as they can in the breakout session and also apply the tips learned from our two experienced mentors in your own mentoring relationship. So um, I hope everyone will hang tight while I'll break everyone into your rooms right now. Have a great discussion, everyone. Okay, everyone is back. Okay, uh, I hope everyone had a very intimate and insightful discussion with Shafi'i and also Sabrina today and took away a few tips on how to set goals with your mentees. Uh, thank you, Shafi'i and also Sabrina for coming forth and opening up about your experiences and also your challenges as a mentor. Uh, now, as part of a roundup to the breakout sessions and to encourage cross-learning between the two breakout rooms, uh, let's have our facilitators to share what are some of the key highlights discussed in each room, such as the common concerns that you guys face in setting goals and also the key tips that were shared. Uh, Shida and Hafiz, whenever you guys are ready. Okay, so maybe I'll start first. Uh, so in the first breakout room, uh, Shafi actually shared uh, two techniques of uh, setting goals with mentees. Uh, 
uh, which uh, mentors can use. Uh, so, but both both mentees both mentors actually shared about the importance of uh, building rapport. Uh, before you even start on setting goals. So you cannot be setting goals at your first session. It's important to build rapport first. And uh, for mentees who are reluctant to share or not sure where, what their issues are or what goals they have in, the, in their life, uh, you can actually bring in some techniques uh, which have been shared uh, on, uh, to, to incite that conversation, to, start, to have that conversation started or get them to be thinking in the right uh, direction. Um, strike. Uh, it's important to strike a contract with your with your mentees. Uh, set the tone, set the expectations, um, and it, uh, also for mentees who are doing okay, maybe you can check in with them uh, monthly. But for mentees who need a bit of hand holding, uh, you may want to check in more regularly every every few days, so to make sure that they do not fall off the track in their uh, achieving their goals. Yeah. So it's important to also uh, in your in your mentoring relationship. It's also important to uh, remember that you're not doing it alone. Uh, build alliances, build rapport with the parents, with the teachers, and if the students have counselors, to build, do connect with them as well, so that you all can uh, help uh, can can help the mentee uh, better in achieving his goals and in staying in the right track. Yeah, so uh, it's also important to establish common commonality and common interests uh, as a starting ground with your mentees. That's all that I have. Okay, thank you. Then uh, Hafiz. Okay, uh, I think that's about it because uh, Shida took everything. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, just some, I, I started off with uh, Sabrina's sharings. I think um, uh, it was nice that uh, she shared about having a to do a personality test. Like for example, she brought up the, the RISAC uh, personality test, which is really helpful in terms of matching, seeing what kind of career match matches your personality. Uh. Uh, then I think uh, she, she also shared with regards to uh, youth who are maybe a bit challenging to, to approach and stuff is to try to set certain, ex, uh, to exchange uh, expectations. Uh. So, so what's your expectations on me? Then after that, you share your own expectations uh, on to your mentee, uh, which, is, which is cool. Then we also spoke about uh, the different types of goals. Uh. Is it just uh, focus on career goals only? Uh, so we share that it's, it's not just about career goals. It can be anything under the sun uh, and to take small steps in achieving and celebrating small successes uh, or goals that you have achieved. Uh, another big thing was it's about uh, between parents' goals and the, the mentees' goals. Uh. So for us mentors, for us not try to be in between uh, the mentees and the parents, uh, but also but actually more of like trying to be the, the listening ears and also maybe can... Uh, share with the mentees how we could one day uh, plan in a way to to sit down and have a session with the par with their parents them eh? not you but them with their parents on how uh, on why they feel that it might not be the the goals that they want for their lives huh? yeah then with, with Shafi of course the wheel of life were pretty interesting interesting how uh, the energy of life let's say it's very bumpy it's like you riding your your bicycle or your e-scooter, the wheels uh, all singing, singing and all that. Uh, so it will bump it, right? So how uh, it helps the mentees to see which part uh, they would want to work on to make it better, uh, to improve their, their wheels of life. Uh, and I think one important thing is about the last question we just had was about whether should we go to a certain extent to to show that we know a lot of certain things when actually we don't. So uh, remember during the GCM training, it's about being real uh, because they have the bullshit meter. Uh, they can actually sense whether you're, you're real or not. Uh. So I think that's about it that we, we heard from both of the uh, awesome speakers, yeah, Sabrina and Shafi. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Hafiz and also Sheila for sharing. Uh, maybe we can have Joe to have uh, to share some words or... <laughs> Yeah, thanks, uh, Bazila. So I just want to take this opportunity to maybe use uh, a minute or two to, to wrap things up. Uh, first of all, I, I thank our trainers pre uh, in the first round of the workshop, and I thank our mentor speakers. I think uh, both shared the use of relevant and suitable tools. Um, and I think that the difference that, that we saw, for example, uh, with Shafi, I think uh, certainly humor is one of uh, a useful tool uh, to help break down barriers 
and, and that certainly helps. Uh, and it really is a matter of different strokes for different folks. Uh, and uh, Shafi was 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 candid. Uh, I think the examples that he used were essentially uh, for mentees who are either at risk or uh, mentees who uh, are reluctant to the mentoring process. Uh, I'm also glad that that uh, the mentors who were in the first group uh, took his examples uh, lightheartedly. Uh, but uh, the, the concept itself is useful. Yeah, so that's good. Sabrina uh, was a bit more methodical. Uh, so I think there, there were different things that you could take from each of the, the mentor speakers. Uh, but also, I think here, it's important for us to, to note that it's not for the mentors to impose goals uh, to the mentees. Our job really is to empower the mentees to set their own goals. Uh, and this is where we guide them and we help widen your horizons to see things perhaps through a much wider lens uh, and, and see things differently. And importantly also is to connect them to the various opportunities and resources that's available to them to achieve those goals. So I think as we go along this journey for mentors who are rookie and for mentors who are a bit more seasoned, let's remember that essentially our job is to guide them, uh, not to tell them what to do, not to impose anything, but to empower them to, to chart their paths accordingly. Uh, and, and we are here to, to ensure that, yes, their aspirations uh, are, are, are good, they remain motivated, and we help them with their uh, various pathways. So with that, yeah, thank you to everybody. Uh, and Bazila, back to you. Thank you, Joe, for uh, wrapping up the whole session for us. So uh, also thank you to all our mentors who are here with us today for making time to learn together as mentors and also for contributing your ideas and also your thoughts in the breakout rooms. Uh, thank you to Mursa, Lina and also Anwar for sharing with us the different tools that we can use to set goals with our mentees. Uh, thank you to Shafi'i and Sabrina for sharing with us your experiences and also your useful tips to overcome common challenges in goal setting uh, during a mentoring relationship. Uh, let's all keep a hold of these key learning points and I hope that uh, we can all use them effectively in your mentoring relationship. So one last thing before we part ways, uh, let's all have a group photo. Uh, I would appreciate it if everyone could turn on their videos for a short few seconds and also put on your best mouse. Uh, I would need my colleague's help, Howell, with the screenshot. So, uh, Howell, whenever you're ready. Okay, is everyone ready? There's two pages, so I need you guys to like hold your smiles for a bit. Okay, so let's start. One, two, three. Okay, hang on a moment, yeah. Okay, next one. One, two, three. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you, Howard. So uh, before we part, uh, I'll just drop something in the chat box first. Okay, so before we part, uh, please also help us to complete the feedback form shared in the chat box. Uh, you will receive a $5 GrabFood voucher for completing this feedback. So please do share with us your thoughts on the session and also on any other feedback that you have for future sessions. Uh, thank you everyone for attending this session. Remember to follow us on Yasan Mendaki on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn to stay updated with our programs and also events. Uh, with that, we'll see you at the next COP in February. Uh, as always, in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy and we hope that you have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Keep up while you're doing okay. You can do it. Thank <laughs> you.